Welcome to Aptitude Concept videos, Time, Speed and Distance. Let's look at some basic problems in this topic. A boy walks at a speed of 5 km per hour and runs at the speed of 10 km per hour. How much time will the boy require to cover the distance of 28 km if he covers half his journey walking and half his journey running? So it means the total distance is 28 km. His first half is covered by walking and the second half is covered by running. So what is our question? How much time will the boy require to cover the distance? It is total distance. So we know speed equal to distance by time. So what is the input they have given? So we know the distance and we know the time. Sorry, we know the speed. So if you want to find the time, t equal to distance by speed. So in this case, the first half 14 km is covered by 5 km per hour the speed. So second half is covered by 10 km per hour. So we have two different set of timing. So t1 equal to distance 1 by speed 1 and t2 equal to distance 2 by speed 2. What is d1? It is first half. That is 14 km. He covers at 5 km per hour. And the second one is t2 equal to what is the distance? Again 14 km. He covers with 10 km per hour. Time taken to complete first 14 km is t1 and time taken to complete the second 14 km is t2. So just add that time you will get the answer. 14 by 5 plus 14 by 10 equal to take calcium and add the value you will get 42 by 10 it will be equal to 4.2 hours. So he will take 4.2 hours to complete the entire distance. Let's look at another example. A man takes 6 hours in walking to a certain place and riding back. So there are two places A and B. A man starting from A and reaching B by walking. So from here to here he is walking and from B to A he is riding. So I am writing it as R. So total he took 6 hours to complete this. Similarly, he would have taken 2 hours less, that is 4 hours. 2 hours less means 6 minus 2, it is 4, by riding both the ways. So, AB is the same point. He is riding from A to B and again riding back from B to A. So, in this scenario, he is taking 4 hours. So, what is our question? What would be the time he would take to walk both the ways? So, in this case, they have given riding plus riding equal to 4 hours. Here riding plus walking equal to sorry riding plus walking equal to 6 hours. So our question is what is the time taken by walking plus walking. So here we know he take 4 hours to complete this journey. It means he will take 2 hours to reach and 2 hours to go back. So for riding he need 2 hours from A to B. So it means he will take 2 hours in this scenario also. So in this scenario he took 6 hours to complete the entire journey. So definitely he will take 4 hours in walking. So he need 4 hours to reach from A to B if he walks. So walking 4 hours again from B to A another 4 hours. Answer is 8 hours. You can solve the problem directly without using any formula. So if you solve you can get the answer in 30 to 40 seconds. Thank you.